I guess duration to make our way to the book. There we go. 13 projectiles could be insane though. I definitely want damage and projectiles. I think that could be crazy. I think that would be a ton of fun. I definitely like this, that's for sure. I definitely like the fire. Fire is not bad. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? As always, here back with another episode of Nordic Ashes. Hopefully you all have been enjoying the gameplay and the, the videos. Uh, if so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We're going to continue running, uh, I believe, Axel Door. And we're going to try the hammer, potentially. Um, actually, you know what? I'm tempted to try... Um... Let's try half half grim with the staff instead. Let's try him with the staff instead and see how we got things going here. Try it on normal mode and uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. Hopefully, we can uh, make some progress on like uh, last uh, episode. Ooh, what is that? Okay, interesting. We do one shot the whatchamacallit. So let's see what do we got going on here. So you got duration. You have burn damage, area, duration, status duration, projectile speed, and XP. You got void. Okay. Rosier. You got the glacier codex. Summon icicles toward the nearest enemy and freeze them. Free status effect now has 25% chance to apply burn damage. Creates three shards. Each time you take damage, a shard will break. When all three shards are broken, you'll unleash a magic power that will grant for 30 seconds. Plus one blue heart. Okay. Paralyzed enemies received plus 25% more damage. Okay. Thunder Codex. Alright. Then you gotta increase five damage of all relics that are magic tools. Converts 25% of your cooldown to damage. Increase plus nine damage to fire and ice and electric relics. And there's Infernal Codex. Summon fireballs that orbit around you. The larger they are, the larger the radius of the orbit. Summon lightning bolts that fall from the sky and strike enemies. And summon icicles toward the nearest enemies and freeze them. Okay, cool. Um, fire the magic missiles that attack nearby. I think I'm going to go fire. Fire route this time. See how we got things going there. Um, sure. And sure. Ooh, that's a good one, too. Get two projectiles instead. Should be uh, pretty big, I would assume. Definitely need to up the damage for him, that's for sure. That is for show. Um, projectiles, though, I definitely like that. Up to four. Next one would go up to six. You know, screw it. Um, projectile area. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to do projectile, try and do projectiles and damage. Okay. Not too bad. Definitely need to up the damage. Like, we're one shot in the little, the little guys, but that's about it. Okay. Let's get over here, destroy him, and then make our way down towards some towers. Okay. Looks like damage boost. Okay. 20 damage on that guy. With the damage boost, we're definitely killing everything, which is... Well, I'd hope, I, I'd hope we'd be killing everything. Let's get that. Definitely want to up the damage, that's for sure. So let's do... Uh, let's re-roll this bad boy. Re-roll again. Re-roll again. Re-roll again. There we go. That's actually just what I want. Just what I want. Damage. And... The projectiles. Because we go from four projectiles up to six. Which could be pretty good. Okay. Start making our way over to some other 
altars. I don't think... This is the spinning swords. Could take that. Why not? Okay. Um, we'll upgrade you. Damage and cooldown? I I'll take that. I'll take damage and cooldown. Why not? Alright, let's make our way up to one of these relics up here since we got three... Not relics, but three, um... Three objectives, I guess you'd, you'd call them. Alright, what do we got here? Burned enemies have a 25% chance to throw one fireball that deals five damage and can burn. Yeah, I'll take you. I'll take that relic, baby. I'll take that relic. Okay. Let's make our way down here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, this is that kill 100. I'll do that. Oh, let's do you. Projectiles 10 area. Um, maybe? I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, it burns everybody in a, in a radius. Interesting. Okay, 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 okay. That's what that card does. Oh, I didn't realize. He has one red heart, and he starts with, like, some blue hearts, he looks like. Okay. That's definitely something to take into account. Okay. There we go. Got that. One empty red heart canister. Um, I think I'm gonna reroll. Yeah, buddy. I'll take that. What do we get if when we ascend this? Each magic projectile that impacts an enemy divides into two smaller ones. Sure. That sounds like that could be useful. What is this? It's one full red heart pain. Okay. Sure, I'll take it. Looks like our uh, our buff is back up. Healed up a little bit there. Bam. Oh yeah, I definitely am starting to like this. Let's come up here and grab uh, some coinage. Not much meta progression. Definitely haven't came across a lot of that, unfortunately. Since we're only sitting at three, like what the heck, dude? Only three? We're on we're on normal difficulty too. We should be seeing a lot more. But we're not. Alright. There's a lot of coinage. I mean we still have another wave. So we're looking good. Okay, here's some meta progression. Two seeds out of that, not bad. We're not a very high level though. Which is a little, kind of a little discouraging in a way, because we're not getting um, a lot of uh, points to level up, which is kind of hurting us. So I want to max this out for sure. Ooh. 13 projectiles could be insane. I do want burn damage. Area, eh, status duration, maybe. Projectile speed could be good. And then... I guess duration to make our way to the book. There we go. 13 projectiles could be insane, though. I definitely want damage and projectiles. I think that could be crazy. I think that would be a ton of fun. I definitely like this, that's for sure. I definitely like the fire. Fire is not bad. Or, I guess, the staff, because you start with the staff every time. But you only have to get one point in the staff, and then you can go branch off to a different route and get something else. So, like, we don't have to stick with the, the staff. Like, we don't need to max the staff every time. Like, we can... We can change it to like, oh, instead of going staff this time, we'll just swap it to one, uh, we'll put one point in the staff and then go to something else. All right, some meta progression here. We are destroying 
this rat, or this boss. Like, we melted that boss. That was insane. That was insane. We melted that boss. All right, what do we got here? Throws a boomerang that returns to its owner while dealing damage. That's two empty red heart containers. Yep. Um, draws XP near you. One use. Restores a red heart. Yeah. Um, and I guess I'll take both of these. Sure. Hey, right. get on out of here. All right, sweet. So let's see, what do we got going? Oh, uh, let's grab the seed first. What do we got coming up here? We definitely don't one shot those. This is five points. What is this? When paralyzing, you also deal zero damage based on the poison and burning damage you already deal. Plus five, I mean, sure. It's, I mean, it's another relic we unlock. We could go up, get a uh, poison. Um... You know what? Let's see. Let's go here. To here. And then get this one. But I also want to throw a couple points into this. Area, sure. Create an external ring of two fireballs. Sure, I'll send that. Why not? Why not? Going full on fire build, baby. Okay. Hopefully we can last a good good time with this. I mean, we, we aren't playing hard or anything, so I, I don't think we'll have an issue. But you never know. Um, oh, t plus 10 burn damage? That'll be huge. Oh, we got no gold. Okay, well, that's an issue. That's an issue. We should probably hunt around and try and get some gold, then. Try and find some crates. Okay. You. Crate right here. A little bit of gold. Okay. So we're going... We're trying to go up to... I think 10 gold is all we need. So we'll try and get that. Seven gold here. Okay, that's that's huge. Got to remember to check that before the end of the run. All right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Plus 10 burn damage is going to be huge because that should bump us up to like 15 burn damage. Oh, we need 15 coins. Crap. Okay, there we go. thought we needed 10. Okay, so combustion is huge. Now we're doing like 23 burn damage instead of 10. Or instead of 18, I mean. Which is pretty, pretty good, I'd say. Grab that. Just run around now. Try and find more crates to get some more money. Maybe some more meta progression as well. Okay. We only got three points, which is a little bit of a bummer. We can use the, the magnet ring before we get to the boss, because after we kill the boss, we also suck up the XP, so... But I'd want to level before the boss, if possible. Okay. There we go. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we're still at one gold, which is not the greatest. I'd like to have more, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. I'd rather level up more than anything. Leveling up would be a huge, uh, huge help. Okay. Because we only got four points right now, which isn't... Isn't a lot. And it, it costs three to get the paralyzing. And then, of course, all the points to go into the, um, the book as well. So, like, it, it, it definitely, definitely, um, costs a bit. And I believe we still haven't even maxed out the, uh, whatchamacallit. Cooldown, damage. Um, ooh, one more projectile. Let's go damage. 
Let's go damage on you. Although one more projectile would have been huge. We'll hold off on that for the moment. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. Um. Okay, we're full health. Oh, look at that. Another magnet ring. Okay. 13 points. So I do want to max this out, but I do want to reroll. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Um, I do want to get this to paralyze. Um, this is insane. Plus nine damage. That is crazy. Um, let's increase burn damage. And then we'll go for this one to try and get damage and... Um, I guess we can go either area or projectile speed. I don't know. Definitely damage every time, though. Probably area to get it uh, a little more spread out. I wish we could get more projectiles on that, but it looks like we might not be able to. Unless we have to level it up a couple times first, which might be, uh, might be something that we have to do. Okay, it looks like we are onto this. We are, we do melt the, um, elites pretty quick, which is, which is pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, we're almost to the boss, it looks like. For this wave. Um, let's just destroy all of this. I mean, our meta progression is looking pretty good. We're up to 40. We got, like, no gold, though, which is a little bit of a bummer. Okay, we got this boss. Let's use this. Grab this. Um, run over here and get this gold. Because once we kill this boss, we're gonna go on to the next stage. I don't, I don't want to do that quite yet. There we go. We got some healing right here. We're not even getting hit, baby. Got nothing on us. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We just absolutely destroyed that boss. That was insane. Uh, it grants 50% cooldown if you take the damage, it will break. Okay. Oh, we don't have the gold for that? Shoots arrows? Eh. Grants a blue heart. Okay. Let's grab this. And that's about it. Gets me out of here. We outie, baby. Okay, well, let's see. What do we got going on? So we already upgraded this. We could go for the alt. But I could also go for these. This is a magic relic. So, increase plus five damage of all relics that are magic tools. Okay. Whatever. Um, let's see. Let's go projectile speed. Oh, and now we got projectiles. But I do want damage in area. Let's re-roll this. Re-roll this. I'd rather have damage in projectiles. I mean, I'll take that. Eh. Dang it, man. So these two I can ascend. Sword dance, or each time you throw a boomerang, you have a 50% chance of attracting a lost one. Interesting. Huh. Maybe we just throw a point into one of these and then just ascend it just to get it. Just to get it, I guess. Um, unlock the ascension for like another run. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like we're doing pretty good right now. I mean, I definitely still want to get um, the other ones upgraded if possible. Damage received is increased by half a heart. Damage plus 50. Yeah, I'll take that. Sure, we'll take one heart of damage when we get hit, but we increase our damage by 50%, which is a pretty big chunk. I mean, we're already shredding stuff. 
But more damage? Can't say no to that. I'll go a glass cannon build. Screw it. I mean, we have a bunch of red hearts now, unlike before when we didn't have, like, any red hearts. We only had one. So I'm, I'm okay with this. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Projectile on the sword would be huge. Ooh, move speed. Experience gain or cooldown. I'm going to go experience gain. I'll go experience gain, even though we only have one more, like, um... We have this wave, and then we fight the bo the boss, so I mean, like... Maybe it w it's not the greatest, um, idea, but... Hey, I'll take it. I mean, the, the fire damage is crazy. I do like the fire damage. Like, the fire damage feels super good. Okay, let's make our way over here to the meta progression. Okay. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, let's come down here and grab that bad boy. Here. Wouldn't mind going back and grabbing this. Um, let's see. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep rolling this guy. I want projectiles and damage. Screw it, I'm going to take this. I'm just going to take the, uh... I'd rather take it than lose it. Than lose a bunch of points, because we rolled, like, six or seven times. Like, we, we rolled a lot of points. Like, we wasted a ton of, um, experience points there. And we could have used it on something that... We, we could have just upgraded it and got, uh, got the stuff, so... That's alright. That's alright. If y'all are enjoying this, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel though, definitely subscribe. I'm trying to push our way to a thousand subscribers, every little bit counts. I do really appreciate it. Since it does show like a bunch of you guys aren't subscribed. Alright, so we're starting to get a little overwhelmed with the Shadow Knights here, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um looks like we're gonna have another boss fight, right or like another elite fight right before we get to the boss, which shouldn't be too bad. We got four points. Projectiles and damage, I'll take it. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to take a point into this and then ascend it. And then throw the rest of the points into probably this guy. Into the burn damage. And then maybe six points here if I can get them. Okay. Just to increase burn damage could be huge. I do I do want to do an ice run. I think an ice run could be fun. Okay. I mean I also want to do a lightning run too, of course. Which we should have plenty of plenty of runs to do because we have we have the three challenges on this island, and then we have all the other islands as well. So like we're gonna have quite a bit. Okay, so eight points. So do I have enough to Uh, I don't have enough. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We'll probably shred the crap out of this guy. Oh. This is gonna be my guess. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of that. Oh, my gosh, dude. We're melting him. We're melting this boss. Dude, I don't even care that I took damage. We're absolutely destroying them. Holy smokes. This was the fastest that I, I think we've ever killed this boss. And we've upgraded. We got three ascensions unlocked for the three um, items, which is huge. Use staff split magic ascension. Okay. Dude, that was insane. We beat him so fast. Staff, of course, had good damage. Boomerang. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, we unlocked the three um, the three things there. That's pretty cool. Let's jump back over here. Um, convert a bunch. Oh, it's getting expensive now. Nine per one leaf. I do want to continue uh, maxing this guy out. Um, 
it got expensive fast. Item attraction, drop chance, drop probability, um, increase the number of dashes, cooldown, chest rerolls are free, um, more critical. Oh, that's crit chance, it looks like. And this is damage. Okay. Um, sure, let's do another one into damage. Now instead of 5, we got 10%, which should be pretty good. Um, get a blue heart when you reach Nolke's Realm. You start with an extra blue heart. Potions have a 30% chance to heal. An extra half a red heart. Two, three, four blue hearts? Oh, wow, okay. Vulnerability time. This could be an... In revives? This could be an interesting tree to go down. But, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If so, this has been Nordic Ashes. And, uh, I've, I'm Lodis. And, once again, tap that like button down below if you guys enjoyed. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!